about one of our bags today. We are the vibe, we're fucking lit, and today we're in the inside. We wanna start. This is the first episode of Mixtape Vibes with Marissa. If you wanna see more of this, comment down below in that comment section and blow up the like section. If you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Like, comment, subscribe, and turn that post notification on for another banger like this. Let's go. Seen for a bit. Obviously, who's Miller Stacks? Cool, obviously, guys. So obviously, we're spies. I'm waiting for him to go to the O2 tour. You get me? Put in front of shell. And I will do. Particular, oh well. Big chat sponsored by Adidas SST, you know the vibes, and we got the. I forgot the color. Adidas, shout me in it. You see the man who got drip in it? Let's check. Cool. Obviously, be like, I got off white. Off white. Zara. Easy. LV bag somewhere. Make sure you subscribe. You look flipping subscribing up. Get subscribing. Cool. I want you to say something quick. Shout out to Marissa Banks. No, you won't. Don't say it. Let's do a little. I don't know. Get subscribed to the channel. Big DT. Marissa Banks. You said, obviously, shout out to Marissa Banks. Shout out to Marissa Banks. So what do you look? You're from Jamaica. Like, you don't think you're Nigerian. Hear that? Hear that? They're lying to you, though. You don't think you're Nigerian. It's a scar on his head that gives you Nigerian vibes. Because you know the people have trouble marks. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
Mobe like you know I'm doing Mobe trouble. Oh, hit it from the back. Yeah, yeah. Hit it from the back. No fail. From the front of shell. I think it's good for the one day. I did not I Obviously, we're in the studio with Mula Stacks. You know the vibe. Introduce yourself. Yo, it's the boy Mula Stacks with Dale, man. And obviously, I'm gonna ask him a few questions, some things you wanna know, why he's been a bit absent through the music scene for a bit. Obviously, who's Mula Stacks? Afrobeat artist. Obviously, he used to be a little UK Afro sing artist, but the sounds changed now and then. So, mm -hmm. new music coming out soon and that. Alright, cool. So, what, what's what been going on? Should we like, keep our eyes open for any like future collabs? Any proper futures? Yeah, come on, we've got tunes with Biani. Yeah. There's a couple more people. There's a couple bangers, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so what's the music to you? Because you're talking about Afrobeats. What is music to you? Music, everything, I can't lie. That's the only thing I focus on. Mm -hmm. Music, money, music, but more music. Yeah. So obviously, like, what's your motivation? Like, who motivates you? Who put you on? Like, oh, I want to do this in the future. I can't like put myself on. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to sound cheeky, yeah, but yeah, yeah. it's just a me thing. So mm -hmm. I always like music personally. Mm -hmm. No one ever put me on the thing. Everyone has their off days, their bad days, their good days. So what? When you're on an off day, what picks you back up and says, yeah, I need to do this. This is the life for me. My music, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I sit down, listen to my own tunes. Get me, I got bear songs. I got over 100 songs. I made over like 200 songs this year alone, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Bear songs, so yeah, man, it's my music, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Who did you grow up listening to? Uh, everyone like Whiskey, David Doe, mm -hmm. Burner Boy, the, the big faces now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, man, I wouldn't say they influenced me, but I listen to a lot of their music, isn't it? Yeah. So, what's your advice for people that are upcoming right now? Because obviously, it's a bit hard. Industry. Yeah, 100. You know, is obviously if you're signing, read your contracts properly. How comes? How comes? Yeah, contracts are. F man. I mean, excuse my language, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But they're crazy, isn't it? Yeah. You know what I'm saying you gotta read that properly. Make sure you're signing the right thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to do Afrobeat, innit? My whole life, but when I first signed my first deal, they didn't really let me push Afrobeats like that, innit? How comes? They were saying stuff like oh, Afrobeat won't go on the radio, Afrobeat won't this, Afrobeat won't that, innit? so mm. um, I kind of just. So what's your view on that? Like, how did you feel about that? Obviously, honestly speaking, I wasn't too happy in it, but mm -hmm. I just went with what was going on in the scene right now mm -hmm. at, at that time in it. Were you young? Yeah, 15. So I just went with what was going on in it. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm in my own space, in my own mind, I'm definitely just focusing on Afrobeat. So is that all your advice to upcoming? Yeah, man, focus on your, on your craft in mm -hmm. it. Make sure you're always in the studio and stuff like that. I would say just, just listen to a lot of Afrobeats yourself mm -hmm. in it. Like yeah. taking a lot of the. The Burner Boys, the David mm -hmm. Dolls, the Omar Lays, the Oxley, like all these people that are proper in Nigeria doing their mm -hmm. thing, innit? Take them in, sit down, spend the like, hours listening to them, understand mm -hmm. the, the, the what they're making, innit? Mm -hmm. And then go in and do your own thing, innit? That's what I'll say, man. Just Speaking listen, of innit? Nigerian boys, everyone's got this like whole, oh, Nigerian men are trash, what have you got to say about that? Well, I don't know, for me, I'm not trash personally, innit? Mm. <laughs> Stop the cap! <laughs> 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 me personally, I'm not trash, innit? <laughs> But yeah, man. So obviously, they say the music industry is a bit political right now. Do you want to like give us a little insight on that? Well, it's political, isn't it? Because mm, every, everyone's different camp. Everyone's going through. Mm -hmm. They're going through their own camp, isn't it? So for someone that everyone's proud about the music industry is that art. Oh, it's, it's not what it seems like. It's a whole facade. Is that all true? Or is the thing we got to find out yourself? Got to find out yourself. So it depends on your camp, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Depends on who you're who you're rocking with and who you're rolling with. Like, like, when you're in the scene, the scene, isn't it? Mm -hmm. so, them ones. Do you want to shout out quickly? Uh, I'm just gonna pick up hacks again. Mm -hmm. just, uh, my nigga hacks again. Obviously, if you guys want to have a video like this, get this like, comment, subscribe because that might be coming out for you soon. Also, but obviously, that's it from today. I'm not gonna flood you guys and take all your time. But obviously, this is one of the stacks. Death of Streamy's music. What have you got coming up? What's the next track you got coming up? 
So I got a song called All Girl mm -hmm. dropping in like two weeks, literally. The video's gonna be on my channel, so mm -hmm. watch out for that one. It's gonna be down there. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn those post notifications on because you lot are missing now. If you just heard the bang I heard, that's what I can say. <laughs> but obviously, like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We're lit. Make sure, make sure. Right. We're out. <laughs>